What's going on you guys? So another Dell Optiplex 5000. So this is a new uh, kind of Intel Core i7 CPU. This is a small phone factor. I'll show you guys the back. So basically guys, I'm gonna be making, uh, instead of making me two videos for the 5000 and the 7000 Optiplex, I'm making only one video. And they'll be, basically they all look the same. The 7000 has uh, three display ports. This only has two. So the 7000 using a different motherboard, but they both have uh, four memory slots for the upgrade RAM up to 128 gigs. I'm just gonna slide this back. So upgrades, you guys, I'll do, I'm gonna move the front cover. I think you can't see even, okay. So it's got an Intel Core i7 12th gen in here. So what I will do is, I'm gonna install here a three terabyte hard drive, three and a half inch. And you guys can go for the extra storage, four terabytes, eight terabytes, or 10 terabytes. They sell, I'll put in the link in the description, Amazon. The first I will do is disconnect the SATA power cable. So the RAM in here, guys, it's got 16 gigs DDR4, and I'm gonna add two more sticks to make it a total of 32 gigs. And it'll support maximum 32 gig per each slot. So you can go up to 128 for 90cc RAM. So what I'll do is just get another stick. I'm using a match pair. And let's see. It's one in DDR. Or 3200, okay, 3200 megahertz. Now, what I will do is, if you guys look at this slot right here, the M.2 right here, this is for the wireless right here, and this is for the SSD right here, don't forget. Now, I will install this back. like this and install the hard drive connect to the motherboard you're gonna connect the SATA power cable Now what I'll do is upgrade the uh, SSD in here. It's got a 512 gigs. It's a really, this is like a slow SSD in here. So all I will do is I'm gonna remove it. And it's got a 2230 in here. I'm gonna install 2280. So remove it. And the slides actually up to the right. And what I'm gonna do is remove the thermal pad here also. I don't need it. And you're gonna take this right here, see the screw on here? And you're gonna move it to the left, right side. So you guys, I'm be using the Samsung 97 Evo Plus NVMe dot 2280, 
And also, guys, I forgot to tell you is I do recommend you guys, you're gonna be using a heat sink on it. So you see this right here? Uh, you have to buy the heat sink separately. They sell this on the Amazon. It runs a lot cooler. You guys can buy it, I do recommend it. It's a dual, it's a double side. So you have to install three screws on each side and we use two thermal pads. I do recommend it. And SSD is one terabyte. If you guys don't want to go larger, you can go two terabytes or you can go four terabytes if you want. So you can only install one way. You can install like this. You guys probably can't see it. Let me see. And install the screw back. So you're gonna hold it with one hand like this, install it. Now what I'll do is, so the process plan here guys is a 260 watt. So uh, the video car you're gonna upgrade in here, I do recommend going with either AMD Radeon RX 6400 low profile so basically the top one is a pci express the black one is pci express times four and the bottom one is pci uh, the blue one is pci express times 16. so i do recommend installing video card through here and the gtx 1650 i probably not gonna i don't recommend it because it's gonna be using the times four slot i do recommend only using the times 16 slot so the video card, guys, uh, I'll be using as a GT, a GT 1030 with the low profile bracket. But if you don't like this video card, you can go with the AMD Radeon RX 6400. It's a lot better video card. I'll put a link in the description. You guys can buy it. They sell on Amazon. Also, the fan in here, you guys can install here in the front is a uh, is an 80 millimeter fan rear. So be airflow. You want to go this way, that way, right here. So if you want, I'll put a link in the description. You guys can buy the fan also through Amazon. They sell it. So you're gonna do install the video card. You're gonna put this up like this. Move the PCI bracket. So video card is installed. front install back the front cover plastic and I'm gonna close the side cover panel and the way you guys are gonna install this back you see this right here the line you have to align this side cover panel right here the line if you're gonna close it Show you guys again. So you're gonna press the slash down, and you're gonna take this right here. You have to align it right here, the line. Show you guys the back. Got a DVD port and HDMI port. So you guys, this be the end of the video. I'll make a separate video for teardown. And this will be only one video for 5,000 model and the 7,000 model because they all look the, kind of the same. So guys, thanks for watching. Bye.